Hello YouTubers and welcome to another Monday, the beginning of a new week, the beginning of an opportunity to see how well we can do this week in firing some positivity to the Yam Squad as we climb the hill to get to the car in the morning and get Yam get Yam outside, get him walking as well. But today is gonna to be a great day. Gonna start off the week right by doing some weights this morning. So last week we did some deficits on the old deadlifts to a little bit of flexibility, a little bit of change up. This week we're back to normal trap bar deadlifts. And then we're gonna to switch to deficits to keep up with a little bit of variation, but also work on that flexibility here and there. But also making sure with the normal deadlift we can say we can do this weight then you go back, lightening the load a little bit and then you go the other way and heavying the load a little bit but now we're going to finish or start walking Yam got some drool on his head and then we're going to get to the gym so let's dream over those things oh yeah and we've made it to the gym this morning it's a bit of a cold day, but it's absolutely beautiful. So appreciating this Monday for what it is, a great day. Or hopefully it will be a great day. So now let's get into the gym. Oh yeah. made it outside of the gym for another after post gym session oh you but today was a fantastic lifting session a great opportunity and look just where's the sun over there just sometimes even like if you if you can stand there and feel the heat of the sun upon yourself you can make a little bit of a difference but today we're gonna maybe enjoy the sun a little bit it is very much warmed up versus this morning and it was literally freezing this morning and now it's not because the sun's out and then we've got some samples of things so this is yam squad logo hopefully that comes out somewhere this is a pillowcase <laughs> so if you want a pillowcase let me know in the comments below but this is just a sample to see how it looks and we've got a couple of t-shirts coming in and another outfit, not outfit another garment coming in but now as always after a session we've got to fuel up because remember food is fuel I'm probably going to have some delicious chicken and rice because it's delicious and it is a lot of food and a lot of people have been sort of talking about where's the vegetables don't worry the vegetables are in there throughout the day just usually don't make it in the vlog maybe i'll just put a plate of vegetables in the vlog just to make sure people know but now fueling up time and we've made it to the house we've got our chicken and rice cooking Where's, and we've got the puppies, so my, at home I've got a Meg, the Springer Spaniel. Here we've got Yam and Max, but Meg at home likes occasionally to play with some squeaky toys and do a howl. So this is her. And let's see the reactions of Yam is so confused. <laughs> He's so confused. So, 
Now we'll continue to make the food because remember, food is fuel. Now that the choir have stopped singing, quieting down a little bit, they're both having their food. I've got my food here as well, some delicious chicken pesto with some rice as well. There he is. There's Leeds, lead vocalist here, Max. Good boy. But just looked at the Yam Squad team challenge meters on the, if you don't know, there's um, the Yam Squad on the, or the Concept 2 are hosting a ERG challenge this month to see how many meters you can do. So it doesn't matter how fast you go, it doesn't matter the speed, it's all about the distance covered. So the Yam Squad team have just surpassed 800,000 meters, 800k, and the challenge only started at 12 a.m. on Sunday. So it's been a day and a half, and it's been 800k. So if we keep going at this rate, I, I really think the target should be 20 million meters. And going at this rate, we should be there or thereabouts. But like I said, it's all about getting as many meters in as possible. And in this uncertain time, a lot of people are being sent home or being put in isolation, just making sure they're not getting ill. So if you are unfortunately ill, make sure you are feeling better, getting better. But if you've been put into isolation, and are not ill and have access to a Concept2 machine, whether it's a bike erg, a ski erg, a static, a dynamic, whatever it is, you can contribute meters to this challenge. So all you need to do is go into the link in the description below and that takes you to the Yam Squad team page so you can join the team. And then, I didn't know this until sort of pretty recently, to join the challenge, you have to go into the Logbook Teams page and then join the challenge as well to make sure your meters contribute to the challenge. So right now, there's just shy which this number is outrageous to me, just shy of 200 Yam Squad members in the Yam Squad Concept2 logbook team, which is insane. So not all of those people have contributed meters yet, and I think just because one, like for me, I haven't contributed meters yet. So one, started on a Sunday, people sometimes don't work out on a Sunday, I generally don't. So my meters will be starting to contribute today with a, I think it's 100, me 100 meter, just 100 meters today, 100 minute. <laughs> Here, no singing, we're stopping the singing. 100 minute erg, so about 30 plus K. But there's people already there doing outrageous distances, 51K or so I think is winning. But like I said, it's all about your meters and contributing, so every little bit of meters help. And the more people we can get into the team and into the challenge, essentially the less people have to do. But I think the focus of this is just getting people to do a little bit of something if they are sort of in isolation. But obviously, you do need access to a Concept2 machine. So if you don't, unfortunately, you can't quite take part. But if you do, well, hopefully you can join the team and, like I said, in the link in the description below and see if we can. I don't know what the record is for the biggest amount of meters in a month from a team, but I would love to get really close to it or even surpass it. So. The target just now, 20 million meters, and we are roughly on track for that, and it's gonna be really exciting through the month as more and more people join in, especially the beginning week, to see how many meters we can get done. So now I'm gonna continue fueling up, or even start fueling up, and then we're gonna we're gonna take the dogs out for a little walk. And this gorgeous, the day is fantastic, it's heating up really fast. It might even be springtime. Oh yeah. Right, yeah. Jan, give me, give me. And we've made it outside, we're walking the puppies, yams playing fetch, or at least trying to. This weather, the weather, is absolutely fantastic. Fantastic on this great day. And I was just thinking about the the World Indoor Air Championships that Concept Two are putting on for this month. Do you think 20 million meters is a good target? Let me know in the comments below. I think it's definitely possible. But I'm just thinking. I wonder what the the highest number they've seen in an air challenge is. So maybe I'll message or I'll DM Concept Two to see what their biggest number they've seen in a challenge is. Is it more than 20 million? Is it less? 
we're on track so we're just about at a million meters so far in the challenge already currently in first place in the challenge which is absolutely amazing which i didn't really when i put the challenge up like sign up pre the challenge i thought a few people would join in but the response has been absolutely amazing. The, the people that have been sending DMs saying I've completed these meters, completed those meters, the amount of people saying I wasn't going to do anything, I was isolated from the world due to the virus, not going to work because I've been told to stay at home, but I'm not ill, so I want to get on the machine, whatever that machine is. And even if you don't have a Concept2 machine, just using the time we have if you're in isolation, whether it's a week, two weeks, whatever it is, trying to use that time for a little bit of self-development, which kind of is how these vlogs started for me when I was ill, not too ill to do nothing, but I still had to basically be quarantined when I had my tonsils out and I wasn't able to exercise. So I tried, I picked up a language, picked up French again, brought my violin down. That's where I the kind of start if you go way back to the first videos on the channel quite strange videos of me playing violin with myself and it's just doing things that interest you and if you could use these two weeks or whatever the amount of time if you are in isolation to improve yourself to better yourself or even just to 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 do things you haven't had time to do whether it's around the house or well it would kind of have to be around the house but just using that time, whether it is putting meters in the erg or whatever that interests you, will be absolutely fantastic. And you probably thank yourself after the two weeks are finished, you can think, well, I just was a, a productive person for, and it doesn't have to be the entire two weeks, or I'm just assuming it's two weeks for the quarantine. It could be one of those weeks, and then either side of the week, you have some real relaxation time, real rest and recovery for yourself. But that kind of depends on you, what you're looking to do. Of course, you can sit, maybe you really need that two week break, that two weeks to chill out. And it's really cool to see things like the, I think Xbox Live was actually down yesterday because there were that many people on the line playing on the computer. And it could be, let's try and improve our gaming skills while we're resting, while we're in the house. But it's finding, like I said, something that interests you and trying, I would say, trying to get better at it. So whether it is gaming, whether it is getting on the machine, getting some fitness, whether it's finding an instrument somewhere that you can't probably leave the house, whether it's picking up a language or even doing an online course in something, there's plenty of things to do. But now I've chatted enough, it's time to go play fetch and send the ball some more with Yam and Max, the puppies. So let's get to it. Yam is tired. Yam needs food, 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 food because food is fuel, even for dogs. But with the heat increasing as we approach warmer times of the year, perhaps, I'll need to make sure Yam stays cool. As a big old puppy, he will be more susceptible to the hotness. Similar to Max, actually, but he'll just lose all his fur <laughs> and then just lie down. So things like ice and all that, but that's for future Yam squad to look forward to, of cooling down Yam and fellow friends. So let's get back into the house and then we've got an erg this afternoon to help add to the total on the Yam Squad team on the erg World Erg Challenge and we're, like I said we're just shy of a million meters and hopefully we can push that above a million today. So let's get on the erg, get into the Yam Cave and have some fun with you. And we've made it into the yam cave to get some low steady yamming in here. So the workout today, pretty easy to set up as we have some, some wildlife there on the screen. So today's workout, select workout, focus please. New workout, single time. You go left one, you go up one, you go right one, and you go there. No wait, that's yeah, that's about right. So 100 minutes today, which is 10 minutes more than 90 minutes, which we did last two weeks ago and then <laughs> so we're basically just increasing these longer workouts making sure we're not starting at too high a level but also making sure it's not too difficult if we do need a little bit of stretch it's all right to get off have a little drink have a little stretch that's okay but today 100 and no not 140 an hour and 40 minutes nice steady keeping the heart rate got my heart rate watch on got my heart rate monitor on 
to keep track of my heart rate, make sure I'm in the right zones. Today will be a time lapse of this. Hopefully the battery stays alive. But I want to get some some indoor workout videos, maybe just some steady row along videos up as more and more people are having to be quarantined to their house and also to help with the erg challenge to roll along with you guys in the to get as many meters as possible. But now let's start the air going. And we've finished one hour and 40 minutes, 26.904K and the heart rate, let's see, let's stop there, heart rate average 135. So pretty much bang on and or in my heart rate zones, that is my UT2 zone, my steady state zone, 135 beats a minute. So it'll be a little bit lower than 135 for the start as it builds up and spending so long on the erg, a little bit cardiac drift. So it ends up a little bit higher, but the average 135. But that is the longest time I've spent in one sitting on the rowing machine, 140 minutes. For this distance I've covered for uh, one, one erg and that will be my contribution to the erg challenge today for the yam squad so if you do want to get on you don't have to do 100 minutes you don't have to do an hour you don't have to do the half an hour you can do one minute you can do 30 seconds you can do as much as you want or as little as you want partly what i want to do with this challenge or use this challenge for is to i think i've said it already is to get people that are stuck in their say house or or area, wherever it is, and get them doing something that they may not, not necessarily, not that they want to do, but something that they may have thought, oh, I'll put it off a little bit because of various different reasons. And so being part of this challenge together, you and I, it's like, well, I have to do this workout to get, to get some meters on the board. And maybe it can help you get some meters on the board too. And that by no means, so this is, I didn't, I don't work out on Sundays, so I didn't get a workout yesterday, and there's people ahead of me, I think 26.9k puts me in 4 for 5th meters wise, and so like I said, you don't have to do as much time as this, you can do whatever you think you can do, I was so, just so proud of the Yam Squad yesterday when I woke up on Sunday morning, and there was already 200k in the bank and it's absolutely amazing and since we're already in first place i would really like to see us stay there and so if we could continue adding those meters up it really help and actually let's see if what the yam squad meters are at today we'll do a quick refresh of the screen on my phone so currently the yam squad is at as it refreshes we have, wow, okay. So I, <laughs> again, so like the, the, the work that the Yam Squad are doing right now, is doing right now is, is outrageous. So before the ERG, I think I mentioned it was about 800, 850K. Now we are at 1.15 million, million. So 1,155K, which is absolutely insane. Let's have a little look at the current top ergers or top distancers as my phone loads so we have martin benfold from new zealand he's actually he actually messaged me and asked where my meters were so he's living in the future right now so he's at 51k pete griffiths 50 and a bit k we've got 40k 38k so i'm actually with 27 just shy of 27k i am 12th in the yam squad erg challenge rankings if we're doing rankings by distance so you can use it as a, a chance to see how much distance you can do in the month compared to other people or you can use it just to get up and be a little bit more active if you have access to the machine of course and this chat has extended a little bit further than i thought so that will be it finally for today's episode 
Hopefully you enjoyed today. Hopefully you guys have had a great Monday. If you're isolated, hopefully, like I said, you can use that time and stay healthy as well as maybe improve yourself. And I've put a link in my story to, in fact, I put a link in the description below. Um, my sister who actually just passed her exams. Congratulations, Mary, for being a doctor. So she will officially be a doctor in a couple of months for graduation. But she's just written an article about staying healthy in isolation. So I'll put a link in the description to that if you want to read upon that from uh, almost Dr. Buckin, not myself, my sister. And hopefully that'll help the Yam Squad stay healthy into isolation as well as out of isolation as well. But as always, Yam Squad, remember to subscribe if you haven't already hit that like button. And I will see you tomorrow for another day of positivity and most likely some more training. Oh yeah!